can't forget snacks. Scary. Oh, very nice. Welcome back to my channel. For today, uh, I have decided to do a little vlog. Matt and I have the President's Weekend off, so we're going to Mount Snow to do some snowboarding because we always love to take snowboarding trips, um, especially in Vermont. We will be there from today. Um, it's probably gonna take us like three to four hours to get there by driving. And we're gonna stay there until Monday and drive back on Monday. So wanna just, just take you guys with us. So let's go. Yeah. It took us like five hours probably all together to get here we made a stop obviously to um, but we're staying at this hotel or motel hotel motel called the horizon Inn. we've stayed here before but I'll show you guys inside so this is what the inside looks like It's a pretty small room Airbnb situation, but for what we need is good enough because usually when we do snowboarding trips or when we do different travel styles, we either stay at a super luxurious hotel or an Airbnb, but it, for this case, when we do um, snowboarding trips, we usually don't really care about the place that we're staying at. Um, since we're not going to be spending so much time inside anyway, so, so we found This place to be super convenient. It's literally right by the mountains. You can just Take pick up your snowboard and then just go every morning. So this is gonna be our home for the next couple days Oh, but it's kind of nice that they have provided all these little toiletries in the bathroom complimentary I almost feel like maybe the owner of this Airbnb is a female to be so detail oriented Like they even give you a little shaving cream. I think that's super nice. Great job So I just changed into my pajamas these are actually just from Forever 21, but I recently did like a partnership with a hair extension company and they gave us a bunch of gift cards to be able to like purchase the hair extensions um, to use for the content that I was shooting. So then, um, but I still have maybe like a couple hundred dollars left on Forever 21 gift card. So I ended up just purchasing like a couple of these pajamas I had bought like a set maybe three different ones and I'm so surprised because they actually fit really well and are so comfortable okay so now let's do a little get unready with me tying up my hair and first off I have a bunch of new product that I actually got um, at a showroom recently so I wanted to try them today, but I've been recently loving this cleansing balm. It's called a Green Tea Pure Cleansing Balm 2 by a Korean brand called Yada. So I found about this brand when I was watching YouTube. There's actually a pretty famous Korean beauty show called Get It Beauty. What they do really well is they will kind of rank different products. I recently watched this episode on cleansing bombs and this one definitely was was the winner of them all. Not only was it like super gentle on your skin and it removed all makeup, it was also the most moisturizing. So I decided to purchase one on Amazon. It was surprisingly pretty inexpensive and yeah. 
So basically you just scoop a little bit using the spatula that comes with the bomb and you can put it on your the palms of your hand and it just kind of looks like this the texture is very interesting but when you apply heat and you kind of rub it with your hand it turns into a oily form and you can just melt all of your makeup off with this So yeah, once you're done kind of rubbing it all over your skin, you're supposed to use lukewarm water to kind of do an extra step of rinsing it off. So as you can see, all of my mascara is already off, which I think is amazing. And after that, because we just traveled and was in the car for five plus hours and eating junk food, I kind of want to try this repair mask by the simply this i believe this is a chinese brand on the instruction which is actually all in chinese but in my broken chinese i can make out that after you wash your face you put it on your skin avoiding the eye area and you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then use warm water to rinse it off and then you go into your routine I appreciate, but... Put some on my lips too. Okay, so I just put it on. It does feel super moisturizing. We'll see what happens after we put it on for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's actually only been like 10 minutes, but we're just gonna <laughs> do 10 minutes. And it does feel pretty moisturized starting with the same brand skin clarifying micro essence toner this just feels super clean i think that's the best word to describe it it feels clean and not highly moisturizing isn't it doesn't feel heavy on my skin but it feels very light and very clean feeling i think this would do so well for like a summertime moisturizer next we're gonna go in with the same simply this refining reactivating serum the formula is also similar to the essence where it feels super light and airy but next we have this reviving eye and lip contour cream and the last step from this line of skincare that I got is this probiotic revitalizing soft cream. So let's try this on. Actually, this is a lot more hydrating than any other products that I just tried from their line. It has a very, again, like that airy consistency, but at the same time, I just feel like I got bombed with fresh water but I can kind of feel that the moisture is penetrating deeper. I really like this moisturizer. But at the same time, it doesn't have that like sticky residue or consistency. So I think people who prefer a lighter type of skincare, they would really like this entire line. And that's it. Bye, good Bye. night. Good morning. Good morning. We just woke up. I mean, we didn't just wake up. We woke up like a while ago and I got ready. Um, the weather today is really nice and it snowed a little bit yesterday. So we decided that instead of waiting to see if we can find a good time to take some content, we will probably do it now so that, you know, once you get it out of the, your way, then the rest of the trip, you don't have to think about anything and you can actually like relax and enjoy the trip so yeah i'm just eating a little breakfast here so lately matt has been really supportive with helping me create content i think it all started when we really sat down and had a discussion like a serious discussion at the end of last year and the beginning of this year we decided that 
I'm gonna pursue content creation like full time and very seriously. And our ultimate goal from that is I will like for two years I'll probably do this. And during in the meantime, we're gonna prepare ourselves and educate ourselves um, on business stuff. So we can either purchase a small business or we can think about investing in a real estate business. So either way, we're just gonna like do a business and that way we can have enough multiple streams of income that Matt can kind of cut back from his day job. Right now his day job as a doctor is, is very strenuous and the hours are pretty crazy. So while he like really enjoys and feels fulfilled being a doctor, if there is an option for us to have like other streams of income, he can maybe go like doctor freelancing part time per part time DM. per diem so that is the goal at the moment yeah and hopefully we'll be able to kind of share the process with you guys so that if you are also thinking of i guess investing in business we can maybe share you know some good information together you know back and forth and maybe even there are opportunities where we can, we can collaborate as well so All right, we are going to head to the mountain and probably snowboard for the rest of the day. The mountain closes at four, or the lifts close at four o'clock. So from now to four, we still have a pretty good like chunk of four hours. Yeah. What does it say? Download the pass for a lot. Three cents. <laughs> no, Fifty dollars. Oh yeah, and they have pretty good food here, I remember that. And the waffles. Yeah, they have the waffles. Yeah. Check it out. I'm kind of interested. Are you going to enter? Good morning. It is now the second day. We basically just came back from the mountain and ordered some Chinese food and watched a little bit of Netflix. Currently our show is Blood Origin, the first Witcher series, I think, and fell asleep. So now it is the second day, kind of overslept a little bit. It's like around 10 o'clock in the morning. Today we are going to go back on the mountain but probably try to see if the back of the mountain has any better trails and then we are hoping to get to an escape room afterwards. So every time we go skiing or snowboarding we also try to book a, an escape room session we're like obsessed with doing puzzles, so it's it's gonna be fun. Good morning. This is our third and final day at Mount Snow, we are all packed and ready to get to our next destination. We just want to say goodbye to our Airbnb and hotel bye for bye. the past three days. We really enjoyed staying here and we'll probably come back again. Just checked out of our hotel and about to go to escape room. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to this escape room near our hotel in the mountain called Mind Lock and there was um, like a perfect puzzle that for us called the murder in Manhattan 
it's like a murder mystery. We thought it was perfect. And, and after that, we're probably just gonna head home, pick up Philip, and then go back to the apartment and finish the day. So if I don't see you guys later, this is probably the end of the vlog. It's actually one of our first of many vlogs that we're gonna be shooting and sharing with you guys this year. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Usually my content is very like fashion and beauty related so if you guys are interested in watching some other video uh, linking them down in the description box as well as putting some cards over here so you can watch them next but if not see you guys in the next one bye say bye baby bye